I want to know why alligators roar at 19 Hertz. That's why I built up this uh, equipment. What you see over here is an oscilloscope. I have a frequency generator and the frequency is shown on the oscilloscope. Uh, down here I have a vibrator and it's touching the bottom of this uh, box. The box is filled with some water, only less than two centimeters in there and this weight is to make sure that the box is not coming up by the vibration. And what you can see down there is the vibration. Oh, well, I want the water to vibrate, to vibrate like the alligators do, so I want it to jump up. Let's see what happens if I increase the frequency. So let's have a look at the results. I have a very low frequency now and I will get the frequency up. You can see some patterns down there. Let's increase it a little bit more quickly. I see some jumping water, it's just a little bit. One more. Off the right frequency, the spattering is going down. Now I go higher frequency. This should be the most perfect frequency for the splashing water. So now let's have a look at the frequency on the oscilloscope. This is now what the oscilloscope is showing. I will give you a standstill motion. I want to know why alligators roar at 19 Hertz. Actually, I think that the reason that they're trying 19 Hertz is somewhere outside of the alligator. It's not directly connected to the alligator. I think it's connected to the water. I think it's connected to the uh, some kind of uh, resonance frequency in the water. Obviously the alligators are trying to attract females and those females could be far away so maybe the sound waves that they are producing can travel a long way. I'm quite sure that the alligators can feel the vibrations uh, themselves very well. Well, the whole body is in the water so they feel the best.